Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to part three, how to rank in the Google three pack. I think you're really gonna love this video. Watch this. This is the Google three pack right in front. But here's a thought I have about the Google three pack and I'd like to get your input on this. I think that we give the Google three pack too much importance and let me tell you what i mean by that i don't mean importance for our business for our business it's very very important but i'm just thinking about like the ways to get into the google three pack i think that it could be you know i think it'd be nine i, I think it could be mind numbing at at times right there's so many videos and everybody has different methods and i mean it could really drive you crazy i know it does for me right so here's what I want you to think about from now on at least consider it let's think of the Google three pack as a treasure chest that's all it is right forget that it's a Google three pack it's just a treasure chest and our keywords are just little pieces of gold that we put inside the treasure chest and every keyword that we put inside the treasure the treasure chest is just another way for us to get more leads and grow our business. So naturally, the more gold pieces and diamonds that we put in the treasure chest, the more our business is going to grow. I think if we remove the value out of the Google three pack, I think it may be easier for your mind to to connect. OK, so look, all I have to do is just um, think about these keywords relate them to gold pieces and get them inside the treasure chest right that's all we have to do so let's start let's start thinking about things like that you know i started doing that with money also is that i i, I realized that i was giving money too much importance and listen money comes and money goes but it, it's always going to come so so you know i i don't i don't think about it that much Right. I've given it another value When I give it another value. It's a lot easier to make decisions. And I think if you could just give the Google three pack another value that it will be easier for you to make decisions and it may be easier for you to understand the concept of getting more keywords in the Google three pack um, that relate to your business, because the more gold you get into the treasure chest, the, the more the more your business is going to grow. All right, guys, so let's get right to it. If you scroll down in the description below, you'll see a link that says you'll see a section that says uh, um, um, steal my brain. And basically what it is, it's a screenshot link to my CRM. This is all the instructions that I give my team when they're creating a website. And I'm giving this to you at no charge. I wish somebody had given this to me when I first started. So I'm giving this to you at no charge. I'm also using, uh, uh, sending over, I'm also creating a link in the description below on this Steal My Brain that has my website, uh, Florida's Best Pr Plumbing, which is just an example website. It's not a real website, but it has most of the rules that I have in my CRM. So I'm just basically gonna breeze through some of the important parts here in the CRM. So when you when you download this link, it makes sense to you. Anything that you don't understand. So for example, if you don't understand H1 GMB categories, what does that mean? Geo in the phrase, just go to the website and here's the H1, right? Plumber, fast and efficient. There's the there's the phrase. Here's the geo right here, right? Here's the GMB category, the phrase, and here's the geo. You could also do something like, you know, plumber, uh, $199, most, um, uh, most clogs, you know, uh, taken care of uh, uh, for $199 or something. You know, or if you're a lawyer, most cases, you know, uh, free um, initial meeting, right? So depending on your industry, you want to put something, you know, a little catchphrase in there. But you want to add the GMB category and you also want to add the geo. It's really important. You want to add that also in 
the uh, meta title, right? You want to add the GMB category. You want to add the um, you want to add the Geo Orlando, right? Okay, perfect, guys, perfect. Okay, so everything on the home page is about the first GMB category, which is plumber. And then the, the first link is the second GMB category. So the second GMB category in this case is heating contractor. Then if you mouse over, it has all the other GMB categories. You could do that, you know, when you get a free moment, the link is underneath Steal My Brain in the description below, okay? So the H2, the H3, you know, so on and so forth. You know, it's a good idea. Like I said, I'm just, I'm just breezing through this. I don't want this to be a two-hour video. So it's, this is something that you're just going to have to sit with for a couple of hours, go through this list, and, and just also have another window open for the example website. And everything's going to make sense to you. But just a couple of things that I want to just go over. If you can, you also want to create a YouTube video based on your GMB category. So if your GMB category is, you know, um, plumber, create a video on, on plumber and, and uh, create a YouTube video and embed that video on the website, on, preferably on your homepage. In the footer, you want to create find us on social and that's just a page that uh, a link that when you click the click the link it'll go to all your social media let me show you what i mean if i scroll down all the way right find us on social and that'll that'll, that'll go to a, uh, a page that has your facebook your twitter your instagram your linkedin your youtube channel your areas you serve are all the different areas around so for example this is orlando so it's you know winter park and all the places that are around orlando and uh, find us across the web are all your citations so for example yelp is the citations yp yellow manta merchant circle the yellow book the brown book the, uh, you know all those all those um uh all those directories, those are all citations. You want to make sure that you purchase the citations through somebody reputable. Go over to uh, Web20 Ranker, right? That's a good one. You could go on Fiverr. Uh, there's a girl, her name is uh, Virtual Girl uh, 2010, Virtual Girl 2010, over on Fiverr. Uh, you could purchase citations there. You could do them yourself. You know, wherever you, I, I get mine from Bright Local. I, I have an account with Bright Local, and I like getting my, my citations through Bright Local, Web20, right? I use them all. They're, they're all good. But what I do is I create a page on my website, and I list all my citations. It does, one, it does a couple of things. First thing it does is it helps get your citations indexed faster, right? The second thing it does is it, it shows relevancy because those citations, for example, like Yelp, are pointing to your website, and now you're pointing to your Yelp page on your website, uh, on the Yelp website, right, if that makes sense. So it's yelp.com slash mindsaw. You have that link on your, on your uh, um, find us across the web. So you click that link, and it goes to the specific yelp.com slash mindsaw site, uh, a page on, on, on Yelp. All right. And, and, and not only Yelp, you know, all the other citations, all the other citations. So that's just something that I wanted to go. Now, guys, when you create a map, if it's a single light, if you only have one location, put it in the footer. If you have multiple locations, create a locations page or on the about us. Right. And on that page, that's where you have your, your different locations. Do not put, do not embed a map in the footer if you have multiple locations. You, the best thing to do is to have a locations page. So you have your Orlando location, you have uh, your Winter Park location, you have your uh, Red Town location, whatever locations you have, and you have a specific page for that location. All right. 
array. So here are some home page notes. For example, these could be H1 tags. For example, uh, divorce lawyer, you know, $199, most cases settled in seven days. E electrician rated five stars on Google. Dog groomer, just two hours, etc. These are examples of H2 tags. These are examples of H3 tags, right? Voted top rated, uh, use a synonym of the keyword. So for example, don't keep using the word, you know, uh, don't keep using the word plumber if, if uh, try to get a synonym of that word. Don't keep overusing it. The other thing is, for example, uh, don't use the word, I, I was, um, I lived in, I, I was born in Brooklyn, so that's also known as uh, Kings County. So don't keep saying the word Brooklyn. Use the word Kings County several times, right? Don't overdo it. Use the plural of the word, like for example, plumber, plumbers, right? Check your density. There's a program that we use called Page Optimizer Pro. It's pageoptimizer.pro. And what that does is it lets you know if you're using the keyword too many times or not enough times. We also use a WordPress plugin. We, we happen to use a WordPress plugin called Rank Math, and that checks your on-page optimization as well. There's another one called Yoast, whichever best for you. But you cannot just create pages just by, just by eye. You need, you need these programs to check your keyword density. You want to make sure that you add um, schema code. It could be found at Web20 Ranker. And this is where you test the schema to make sure that uh, the schema is, 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 is working properly. All right. These are the notes for your GMB category pages. Everything's here, guys. These are your keyword pages notes. Now, one of the things that I want you to know is that when you create a page, like for example, a, a clogged drain, right? And you have, I don't know, a thousand words about that, that, uh, that keyword. What you could do is you could also write blog articles about clogged drain and link to your clogged drain page. That'll help booster up that page almost put that page on steroids right so you have your 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 clogged drain page that has a thousand words and then you know what to do if you have a clogged drain or what to do if there's hair in your drain or what to do if you know there's there's um, uh, sediment or, or minerals in your in your drain and they all link to your clogged drain page all right Okay, let's go to the top here. These are just some notes that I have. For example, the launch date or when we started, the priority, the project value, if it's a template or custom job. I always put the notes in when we get a new client. I put, I spoke to Joe Smith on such and such a day. These are the things that are important to him. These are the keywords. These are the colors they like, right? Here's why he's, he, he got into the business. I, I do a whole full investigation. All right, so these are the suburb pages. Now, I, um, how do I go into this? Okay, so there are corporated and incorporated, unincorporated, I'm sorry, incorporated and unincorporated uh, uh, cities in your town. So if you go to, for example, Tampa, and you type in unincorporated cities in Tampa, Google will give you a list of all the, all the cities that are unincorporated. And... You want to create suburb pages for unincorporated uh, 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 towns in your city because they're easier to rank in and you don't necessarily need a GMB for that town. Let me, let me do this for you for a second. I'll show you what I mean. Let me show you what I mean. So if you go to Google and you type in uh, Tampa
unincorporated cities. Okay, so this will give you all the unincorporated cities. See, Keystone, right, Lutz, Mango. These are all the unincorporated cities. Your town has unincorporated cities in them. So if I'm trying to rank a plumber in Tampa, I'm going to make all these pages. You know I wasn't going to say this, right? Because I don't know, Lake Maga, whatever, <laughs> right? Keystone. I'm going to create all these pages because they're unincorporated uh, cities. You don't need a GMB for unincorporated cities. Now, I'm not guaranteeing that you're going to rank, but it's easier than ranking in incorporated cities. Those you definitely need a GMB for. All right. I've made videos on this. I, I don't I don't want to go too deep into it. If you just understand the uh, the concept. Right. So I, I embed a map. I create a map with driving directions uh, from a place in an incorporated city, for example, a library or, uh, or, uh, a popular statue or a popular recreation place with a map, uh, with directions going back to my location. Right. I also create on that page, a link back to the homepage. Now, what we also do is we create geo pages, for example, things to do. So, for example, if you go to Google and you type in uh, Tampa things to do, we create some pages about Bush Gardens, the Florida Aquarium, the zoo in Tampa, and with those um, with an embedded map going back to your location, for example, the plumber in Tampa, right? I hope that makes, I hope that makes sense to you guys. So uh, we're just showing Google relevancy uh, that we service the air, we serve uh, the area, all right? And I mean, everything's here, right? Everything's here. So like I said, this is, this is everything that we do. I really wish that somebody would have done this for me. I'm doing this for you. If um, this lesson helps you, I have a link in the description below where you could donate to the channel. If you have any questions, just uh, shoot me a text. You see I have my, my, my cell number he here. So you could just uh, shoot me over a text and um, I'll be happy to help you if you wanna come on as a consulting client or if you wanna come on as a client. You know, I have some room this month. I'd be happy to help you and take over your project. Um, or if you just need some advice, you know, wh however I could help you. However I could help you. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope it made sense to you. If you have any questions, please get in touch with me. And the thing that's most important is please make sure you're good to your family. Kiss your wife, kiss your kids. You know, clean up around the house. Take care of the dog. All that, all that stuff. All that stuff is really important, right? That's the reason why we're able to do this. Guys, until tomorrow, thank you very much for your time. We'll see you tomorrow.